Hello guys, it's uh, Mike Strong, ML Auto Keys, Specialist Automotive Locksmiths in West Sussex. Just want to um, make a quick video this morning, uh, just to show what the problem is with these. This is a, a Volkswagen slash Audi slash Skoda slash Seat um, ignition steering lock. Okay, uh, uses the uh, you know usually have like the flip style keys with it. It's not a push to start ignition, so you know the vehicles that have got a button that you press. That's that's not what we're talking about. This is the one where you have the flip key or the or the fixed head key. You know, conventional type ignition where you put the key in the ignition, turn it, start it. Um, so these are commonly found on the Mark V Golf, Mark VI Golf, Audi A3, Skoda Octavia, um, various other models around sort of 2005 to 2012 ish, 2014. Um, not the Polo and not the Volkswagen Transporter, they use a different ignition. But um, what the problem is, you'll get two problems with these, one of two problems. You'll either come out to the vehicle, put the key in the ignition, try and turn it, it will turn slightly, but you won't be able to turn it on and you won't be able to start the car. Um, uh, and it's just jammed, so the car is now sort of stranded. The car is now sort of stranded. Uh, the second problem that you may run into with these um, is, is exactly the opposite. You can be driving the car, um, you go to switch the ignition off, you park the car, switch the ignition off, and then you find that you can't turn the ignition off, the key won't turn all the way back off. So then you get the problem, you can't turn the engine off and you can't take the keys out of the ignition. Uh, if the vehicle is a manual gearbox, it's not too much of a problem because you can just put it in fifth or sixth gear, put your foot on the brake and stall it out. Um, then pop the bonnet, disconnect the battery, uh, makes, that makes the car safe. But if it's a, an auto or a DSG, you, you obviously can't stall that. Uh, even if you were to disconnect the battery with the engine running, the engine would most likely just remain running. Um, you would need to obviously call someone like myself or look at other ways of turning the, uh, the engine off and that could be pulling fuses, pulling relays, doing something electronically to the car to try and turn the engine off. Um, I've had several calls with this exact fault you know people stuck in supermarkets they can't take the can't take the keys out of the ignition the engines running things like that it's uh it can be a, a real nightmare because you can't just leave the car uh, so i just wanted to explain what ha actually happens here what what is going on what what most people uh they believe is they think the problem actually lies with the key um or the uh ignition key cylinder for the car um, the, there's very rarely there's a problem with this um, in fact I don't think I've ever come across one unless it's been damaged like by a, an attempted theft but generally I've had people say well I've spoke to a Volkswagen I've spoke to Audi they're going to order me a new key and a new a new ignition cylinder from the factory that that's not going to solve the problem it's not the key, it's not the cylinder. In fact, when we replace the steering locks with a brand new one from Volkswagen, we take your original lock and key, uh, key cylinder out of the, the faulty ignition and we put it into a brand new steering lock out the box. It will come like that without the cylinder. We, we fit your original cylinder into this and it works completely as normal. Um, so that's that's the first thing to understand it's it is not a key or key cylinder fault it's it's solely a fault in this ignition in this ignition switch so uh, what happens so this this here is a failed ignition this here is a failed ignition but we've we've completely disassembled this one to see what has actually happened 
uh, and why it can't be repaired. So these these are you know they're assembled in the factory and this black plug here is a critical part because this part here seals up the ignition. So this this is a the interference fit it's a it's a press fit plug that goes in there. Um, and that holds all the internals of the ignition um, in place. Um, so what we've done here, we've taken this one apart. As you can see, we've had to drill that out to get it out. Um, so we can remove the internal parts and show them to you. And these two parts here are the problem these two parts have snapped off from somewhere inside the ignition and that's what's causing the jam that's what causes the ignition to, to now not turn albeit in the on position or the off position um, and there's nothing you can do to get to these there's nothing you can do to disassemble this uh, a dis to disassemble this ignition steering lock pretty much destroys it I mean you know you could maybe reassemble it um, or obviously you would uh, probably end up losing the steering lock functionality um, you'd have to like I say you'd have to drill bits out of it and then try and reassemble it and, and then obviously you'd have to take the, the steering lock out of the vehicle um, these 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 locks are installed in the vehicle with security bolts which can be removed uh, you can refit the lock with you know just normal allen key bolts or uh, torx bolts you know if it's your own vehicle and you just want this job done cheaply um, it's not we do we do not strip these locks to repair them or, or anything like that because it's just not worth our while doing that all we do when we come to these jobs with a with a with a failed ignition is we simply remove it and we supply a brand new genuine part and install it back into the vehicle with with like i say your original key and lock cylinder um, we also use the correct Volkswagen security bolts with the shear off heads so everything is put back as it should come from the factory uh, there's no bodges done there's, we don't take the lock apart start trying to get bits out of it etc etc we just simply remove it and replace it with a brand new part we've just disassembled this so we can physically show you what the problem is and you know if you decide that you want to take this job on yourself and try and repair your own steering lock um, rather than pay someone like us to come and do the job properly um, it's, that's up to you you know this information is there um, but I, I would not recommend it I would not recommend it another thing when these steering locks come brand new it will come exactly like this so this is the steering lock bolt and that should be retracted and the the ignition will actually be in the on position because the only way that you can remove the cylinder from the ignition is you put the key in it you rotate it to the on position and then you use a little uh, ignition removal tool to slide down the side of the key cylinder you can see where that little cut out is there that little oval you line that up with a position turning the key then you look, use a little removal tool which looks something like that it's a little thin wire and that will slide down the side of the ignition and it should interact with this lug and as you slide it in it will, it will withdraw that lug down and you can pull the ignition out and your ignition should be in this position if you take notice of it's kind of like sort of you know diagonal if for instance you was to get it get it out of the box and it looked like this and the bolt is up 
and you can see it's the uh, it's in the opposite orientation so that would be in the off position if you was uh, if it was fitted to the car if you was to get that out of the box and it looked like that this this ignition would now be scrap because what they've done is they've been very clever with these ignitions to try and um, prevent uh, hot wiring and uh, ignition damage, you know, like where they get a slide hammer and they'll screw the slide hammer into the ignition face and they'll use a slide hammer to forcibly rip the cylinder out of the ignition. And then what they do is they put a screwdriver in this part and then they use a screwdriver to turn it. Well, if you was to remove the cylinder forcibly in this position, that's where this little assembly comes into play. So behind this plug, which is this part here, sits this. You have this spring, which sits directly against that. And that spring is pressing this in. Okay, and then you have this steel rod which kind of sits like that inside the ignition. In fact, we can probably show you exactly what it will look like on this, this one that we've disassembled. Let me just try and put it in. So it sits in there like that. Let me just try and put a bit of light on this. So it sits in there like that in that groove. And then if you can see it sits across that hole. And it keeps that little plunger pressed in right against the spring. Now if you was to rip the ignition out. When you, when you take the ignition out normally you rotate this whole, uh, this whole thing. And it keeps it at a position where that pin is blocked from pushing out but if you uh, remove it in this position that pin is no longer blocked from popping out when you pull the cylinder out uh, because the, the actual cylinder keeps the, um, the spring pressed in in the lock position um, but if you pull the cylinder out in the locked position there's nothing that holds the, that, that steel pin in and it fires forward and it allows this part here to, to go inwards into uh, through that hole and it interferes with this and it then puts the ignition into lockdown okay so it will it will fire against this part here and it will prevent you from turning the ignition and withdrawing the steering lock bolt. So it's an anti-theft feature. So if you ever get one of these out of the box and you find that that is up, because what usually happens is people will buy these, they don't understand that there's an anti-theft anti feature in this lock. They'll get it out and for some reason, I've seen people do it, they'll get a screwdriver They'll put it in there and they'll twist it like, you know, just I don't know whether they're just trying to make sure that it works or what. But the moment you twist it backwards and you and that's that steering lock pops up, you've bricked it. It's unusable uh, and it purposely can't be reset because it's it's an anti theft feature. Uh, the only option you have at that point is. Well, you know, if you want to start drilling that out and trying to get the uh, the locking lug out and, you know, if you want to start doing that on a brand new ignition, uh, that's not, again, it's not what we do. Um, but it's just a little tip for you. If you take the cylinder out of a working ignition, don't ever rotate it back to the lock position with a screwdriver so that the steering lock bolt fires upwards because it will go into anti-tamper mode and you've bricked it, the ignition is now bricked. Um, so as I say, we've disassembled this one. We've got all the components. As I say, I've explained to you what this is for. Um, that steel rod is what stops the anti-tamper feature from kicking in all the time that the 
ignition is being operated correctly. This is the steering lock bolt itself. That interacts with this piece of uh, this piece of metal here. And obviously this is uh, the face of the steering lock from what we showed you, you know, this has all been removed and that's held in with this little white clip on the through the face. And like I say, in order to remove this, to remove that, to get to these parts, you have to drill that out and completely disassemble the entire lock assembly. Um, but yeah, these are, this is your problem. These two little pieces of metal here, they break off inside the lock and then they just jam it. And once they get jammed in this mechanism, they get held in place with the grease and the dirt that's in there, if there's any, and they just get stuck. And basically there's absolutely nothing you can do to get them unstuck, you know, to get it, to get the lock functioning normally again. So, as I say, we supply the, we keep these in stock. We've got loads of these. We, we do this job day in, day out, pretty much at least, at least twice a week, every week, we're, we're replacing one of these ignitions. Um, it's not a cheap job to do. Uh, it's, it is obviously, it is a security part. So it's not gonna be easy to get to. It's not gonna be easy to remove or easy to replace. Um, but once we do the job, we replace it. We give you a full 12 month warranty on the steering lock. So if you get the same problem, within 12 months of us we will come remove that steering lock and fit you a new one completely under warranty um, so hopefully that just gives you a little bit of insight as to what the problem is and it, you know just to let you know it's not the key it's not the cylinder so don't be fooled by the dealer into you know then going oh well, it's probably the key it's probably the cylinder the, the dealer very rarely knows what they're talking about when it comes to this sort of stuff you know we as i say this is why i've got it in bits for you here so you can see all the components and you can see exactly what the problem is um, like i say that those two little sh shards of metal although they don't look much they will you know the tolerance inside this lock is very very tight and if they get jammed up against this, you know, a rotating part, that, that's what stops your lock from rotating, either backwards or forwards. And that's all it takes. And, and, and the problem is you cannot do anything about it um, unless you physically remove the steering lock, do what we've done with this one, completely disassemble it, clean it out, and then maybe if you wanted to try and rebuild it yourself you know I, I being a, a security uh, device and, and, a, and a device that is capable of locking the steering wheel that would be my concern if it's not reassembled correctly there could be a, a very high possibility that during driving the vehicle it could potentially lock the steering wheel whilst you're driving the vehicle and obviously you know we nobody wants that to happen uh, so if you was going to reassemble it obviously i think the safest thing would be to completely remove the steering lock bolt altogether uh, so there's no steering lock at all and you're just literally using it as a switch and a key reader for the immobilizer uh, and just a switch to start the vehicle but i would always recommend getting in touch with someone like us and we can re we can replace we can remove and replace this ig entire ignition and have your vehicle back running um, without with zero damage whatsoever uh, usually within the hour take usually takes us about an hour start to finish we can come out to your home your place of work or even like I say shopping centers we've been to car parks I've been to the beach wherever your car is stranded we can most likely get to it as long as there's no parking restrictions there 
is obviously we do work out of our service vehicle. Uh, there may be occasions when you need to get the vehicle recovered to us or recovered to a location where we can work on it. But, you know, if it's, I uh, say, if it's in um, a supermarket car park and it's a nice flat open car park, you, we can get to the car, not a problem. Um, so, yeah, I hope this helps some of you understand what the problem is and why we deem it necessary to, rather than trying to repair it, we just simply replace it. I mean, for us to take this out, disassemble it like this, try and get the bits out of it, clean it up, reassemble it, that job's gonna take us probably three times as long as what it is just to swap it out for a brand new ignition switch. Um, and, and the price is probably gonna be more expensive for us to do this and refit it than just fit a brand new one, which comes with a full 12 month warranty. So if you've got this problem with your Volkswagen, Audi, Skoda, Seat vehicle, um, the best thing to do is get in touch with me, Mike Strong, ML Auto Keys in Littlehampton, West Sussex. I would strongly recommend the best way to contact me is through WhatsApp or um, text message on the mobile. It's 0 771 851 859. Alternatively, you can email us at info at mlautokeys.co.uk or you can visit our website and fill out our contact us form at mlautokeys.co.uk. Uh, you can try calling me on the mobile, but I don't always answer the phone, as I say, so the, the really the best thing to do if you're in a, you know, an urgent situation, you need urgent assistance, would be WhatsApp or text message, and I can usually respond to those a lot quicker. Okay, thank you very much for watching. If you've got any questions, you know how to get hold of me.